I'm in my storage unit right now, uh, working on my bike a little bit. Um, yeah, so it's a part. So you guys see my bike all together. Now it's a part. Um, and what I want to show you quickly is what, or what I have my Vapor computer on. How we made it. Uh, I'm not going to go exactly at how to, um, but I'll explain a little bit of it. So this was the original bracket, and we wanted to use um, some of the ideas that was on that was on here to make the silver bracket down there. So this is what was originally on the bike. This. So we didn't want this. I thought that was kind of like oh, not so good one. Like this is a lot better. So we looked at this design. And the first thing we wanted to do was see how the choke kind of has a little space here, but the ignition doesn't. What we wanted to do was make a space for both of them, so we just kind of swapped them around, like moved them around a little bit, but the ignition, if you look right here, there's a little slit, and you can't see the one for the choke, but there's one, I think, right about here. So that we can just slide them out if we need to work on some wiring or if we have trouble with something. And if you look on this bracket, you see that there's two holes down here and then the big opening. We did the exact same thing for this, so I can't really show you underneath, but um, we cut this here, like that circle, or half a circle rather, and then we put the two holes that are under here, again I can't really show you right now, I'd have to go upside down to look up, to look at that, but there's two screws here, two holes, so we just screwed them in right where this was originally. So that made it a lot easier, so we didn't have to do too much hard work, but um, my dad um, my dad and I designed the, um, this thing, but he actually had to cut it for me because, um, well, I don't have the tools or the machine to do it, and also because I wanted it to be done nicely, and I don't trust myself to cut it, you know, nice and clean. So he cut all this, and then he had a little bit of, um, a swirl to it, and how he did that was took sandpaper, and he pushed it down with his thumb, or his finger, and rubbed it in, little by little, all around different areas, so it kind of has a shiny look to it. And, um, yeah, it looks nice and clean. But, um, yeah, so I'm just installing, um, I installed the, uh, well, here's the wire for it. It's over here somewhere. The RPM sensor. The, uh, air temperature sensor. So I just need to install the RP, or not the RPM, the speedometer sensor, or speed sensor. And then my bike will be all set. Oh, and the lights, of course. I didn't put those in yet. Still working on that. Other than that, the power's hooked up. So when I turn the bike on, where's my key? Uh, no, that's not it. That's my car key. Ah, here it is. Okay. So I installed the power to the computer, um, to the ignition. So now it lights up when I return the bike on, which is nice. Yeah, so that's my bike so far, what I've worked on. Um, I had to charge the battery because, again, it's been sitting for the whole entire winter. I think I maybe rode it once, like in the beginning of winter, and then after that I didn't really do much with it. So I'm just trying to get it up and running.